Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Non-Rev Sims, and welcome to part 27 of my Sims 3 Baby Daddy Challenge. I have played quite a bit off camera, like a lot, a lot, not even gonna lie. I just wanted to get through the bulk of this challenge because we're nearly done. I think we just have two more Sims that were adults or young adults that we need to try for a baby with. But other than that, like we have pretty much completed the first part of this challenge. There's only like a handful of Sims left. Like there's less than like six that we need to get through, which will be super easy. But I felt like it was kind of getting tedious. Um, everything happening which if you haven't watched this challenge before I always have a link in the top right as well as in the description you can go catch this challenge from the very beginning but if you've been here from the very beginning it's pretty much the same thing over and over so I played a lot off camera so basically off camera Tony learned how to drive he also reached level he's past level three with a lot of skills these kids have been working they've been working also as you can see here my little portrait panel is it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy we got a lot going on tony learned how to drive he is also on the honor roll which is amazing steve learned how to drive he is not yet on the honor roll but i believe he'll probably get on the honor roll this episode this kid stan on the honor roll clint on the honor roll who are you jarvis on the honor roll these two girls wanda and natasha they just moved in so they are not yet on the honor roll they have bees in school this one on the honor roll and then this one on the honor roll as well it's crazy so we're gonna have a lot of people aging up this episode tony's definitely getting kicked out of the house because we do have some more kids to move in i didn't want to move them all in at once but yeah this is our new <laughs> our new family tree okay so in the last part we had okay in the last part we had harold and ward i believe i introduced you guys to them then we also had maximus and Triton, who are both, okay, Maximus came from Monica Morris, Triton came from Tori Kimura, Gertrude came from Aisha Ansari, and Carolina Aisha Ansari, those two are twins. Then we had Molly and Nico, they are twins from Holly Alto. So those are the last set of babies we've had. We haven't tried for baby since because I need a break. We need to pause a little bit. I need a little a little breather but yeah that's basically what happened we also have some more kids so that we need to get moved in so pepper bruce peggy peter lee victor victoria and cleo and tashala they just keep aging up and i'm like oh my god can you guys chill for a second can i breathe for a little bit um but that's why i want to get these kids to age up and out of the house that way we can get rid of them and have more space. We could throw in some more bunk beds, but I am not trying to get myself overwhelmed with this challenge. I'm literally just trying to go smooth sailing from here on out. Um, Ezra does need to come take care of his garden. Go ahead and do that. Actually, do this one first. Just fertilize that one. Okay, or go pee. That's fine. Anyway, um, Tony is definitely going to age up this episode as well as... Let me see how it goes in order. So Tony's going to age up and get out of the house. Steve, he's not on honor roll yet, but if he does, Jarvis is on honor roll, so we'll get him aged up. Clint on honor roll and Bucky. So everyone else after the two girls will have to wait to age up. So we're going to get one, two, three, four cakes, four birthday cakes, or I'll just use testing cheats and able true. That way we don't have to waste money, waste food, all that stuff. We're not going to do that. We got, we got some money to spare, but I don't want any of that food to spoil, so... We're going to chill on that. You, how about you go sniff out collectibles? Go do that. Go do something useful for us. Oh my God. Did I show you guys the new house? I think I did. Um, nothing really changed except I added bunk beds to all of the kids rooms. I added in the lemonade stand as well as the baker's half dozen because the kids kept wanting to get it as well as the little seesaw and the hopscotch court. So we got those things. They have made some sales with the little with the little muffin maker thing so that's good our garage is a little more done up all right research science facility sure we'll do that but only if he is not on honor roll if he's on honor roll then we won't even bother but if he's not we're gonna age him up so i said four cakes i think oh no no we don't need to buy any cakes i forgot we're gonna use testing cheats to age everyone up that's fine that's good that's cool um, once you're done, go ahead and water these. Also, I did want to say I have been having issue with the daycare career. Here it does say he's on the clock. Again, no babies showed up. So what I think I might do is have him quit the job 
and then use master controller to get him back to level three of the daycare career rejoin it so that we get those babies back in i think it is a little broken my save is okay so far um nothing else besides that is there's no issues besides the career messing up so that is the only thing all right attend the free game sure do that to improve your school performance what are you doing you're gonna water everything it shouldn't need to be watered though it's raining i don't understand but okay go ahead do what you gotta do all right hopefully the kids don't have after school you know what they probably do wait it says field trip okay well if it's a field trip they'll come home let's just cross our fingers that steve gets on the honor roll come on kid i believe in you are you on the honor roll okay well he's not on honor roll that's cool it's fine it's whatever <laughs> he did not make it onto the honor roll today so he will not be aging up but tony will oh tony stole the car but yeah tony does know how to drive steve knows how to drive oh it says he's missing after school well he can't go anymore that's fine all right, actually, can you actually go research the science facility? That way you get your you get your school grades, your school performance up. Okay, this music, though, we're going to turn that off because we don't need it. Also, Tony, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. Let's see, do we need to take care of anything before he aged up? Carol Russo would like to go over Scott's. No, sorry, sis, come home. Oh my God, Wanda wants to go over to Tashala's house. No, Tashala's gonna live here in a few days. So um, anyway, Tony's birthday, we're gonna age him up. He's on honor roll. He has level three, over level three with three different skills and he does know how to drive. So he is good to go. Let's go ahead and trigger age transition for him. And as a reminder, we have to randomize whatever trait he receives. So happy birthday, Tony. We love that for you. All right, so this one's gonna go take care of some stuff at school and then he is going to come home as we're taking care of the garden and go ahead and get that mail. Yay, Tony, you're out of the house. You've made it, you survived. Not with that hairstyle though. <laughs> he is the first boy like the first boy we ever had it's crazy he's an adult now i don't even know what to think he's a couch potato lonely unflirty heavy sleeper and eco-friendly what a set of traits um this is what he looks like with that old man hairstyle he actually looks oh my god he looks just like ezra like look <laughs> he stole ezra's whole face i'll give him a makeover before we kick him out because this ain't it this this ain't it i might move him back in with his Warma? mom um we do need to give him a lifetime wish and whatever comes up the what's this one um professional writer blog artist gold digger master the logic skill and illustrious author you know what he is a couch potato and a loner so i think a blog artist would be the best <laughs> no shade i think blog artists would be the best job for him because he won't have to really interact directly or go into you know any actual career so we'll go ahead and give him that lifetime wish we love to see it we love to see it all right let's quickly jump into cast i'll give him a makeover probably won't put it on camera so i'll be right back with you guys when we are done with this so here is tony's new look i just did something real quick um, he did get some trophies from school, so we'll just sell these if you don't need them. All I did was just get rid of everything from his inventory. I gave it over to Steve just because I actually do want to keep some of this, that stuff. Um, we are pretty much done with him here. What I am going to just do is move him back in with his mother. He can go find a job, do all that stuff. Let, we'll let story progression take care of him. Let me see, if, is there anything we can waste his lifetime award points on? What can we get? We cannot get anything good. Um, inheritance, I don't want the inheritance. I just wanna see if I can waste his points, but I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do that. Okay, we'll just send him out to go live back with his mother. We're gonna do Enroz ad stim. He is going back to his mother. It is so, so sad. I really don't want him to leave, but uh, 
we got to let him go so that we can bring in another child. I'm really sad to see him go. He was the first baby in the household. He was one of the first babies in the daycare career as well. So to have to say goodbye to him kind of sucks. But it's been real, Tony. Didn't even remember his name. He wants to be, see Tony become a scientist. Probably not going to do that. <laughs> All right, Tony, go home. Get out of our house. Let's see. Who is the next Sim to move in? Oops, wrong family tree. The next sim to move in is Miss Pepper. So Pepper, are you a twin? Let's see, Pepper, who are you? Because if she's a twin, we'll move her twin in. Okay, so Pepper's twin is Peter. Where's Peter on the list? Okay, so we'll take in Pepper and Peter. Oh no, I think I made a mistake. I was supposed to take in Bruce. <laughs> Pepper's twin is Bruce, not, I don't know why I thought it was Peter. Her twin is Bruce. Okay, so we'll add Bruce to the household as well. Um, Peggy is Peter's twin, so I did this wrong, but let's add in Bruce. Let's just add him to the household. You know what, we'll just take her twin as well. So we'll take Bruce. So we got Pepper and Bruce and then Peggy and Peter. So let's take in Peggy as well. Oh my gosh, why have I, what have I done? What have I done? You guys, what is this? All right, we got those kids in. We're gonna start aging these people up and getting them out of the freaking house. You are an honor roll, you're on your way home. All these kitties can come home. I shouldn't have done this. I'm in over my head, you guys. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> All right, I really wish he would have gotten on honor roll, but it's okay. It's okay that he didn't. Hopefully he gets on honor roll tomorrow, so we should all be good. But you, you are aging up. You're on honor roll, right? So actually Jarvis first. Jarvis will age up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to age up Jarvis and Clint. Jarvis and Clint. So Jarvis is the red, you. Jarvis is on honor roll. And then Clint, do you have a twin? Okay, you don't have a twin. So Jarvis and Clint are both on honor roll. That's great. Happy birthday, guys. Age up. Actually, don't even go in the house. Just come over here for me, Jarvis and Clint. You all come over here. Let everyone else get in the house and do some homework. <laughs> do your homework. All right, what age are you? Okay, so Bucky can also age up if he has honor roll. These guys will age up after these girls because I don't want it to go out of order anymore. I'm really annoyed with it going out of order. So if Bucky's on honor roll, then he can age up as well. Where is he on my list? Okay, Bucky is on honor roll. So you two come here, Bucky. All right, so who is first? So Jarvis goes first. Jarvis, it's your birthday. Jarvis, happy birthday. Oh, he knows it's his birthday. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, let's age him up. Trigger age transition. So first Jarvis. And then when Jarvis is done, Clint will age up. And you kids can do your homework. Come on down and do their homework so you can get on honor roll and age up with the rest of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone do your homework. Okay, you don't do your homework. You do your homework. <laughs> You do your homework. You do your homework, and we're going to sell that book. Okay. Um, Jarvis has reached his teen years. We can choose a trait, but we are just going to randomize it. He is a mooch. That's great. We're going to sell everything from your inventories because y'all be having some crazy stuff in there. This is what Jarvis looks like. He looks like his, he definitely looks like his mom, Judy. I don't see any of Tony in him. Even the eyes, there's nothing. Okay, well, you aged up. That's your old homework. We're going to sell that. Next up is Clint. Happy birthday. Clint, it's your birthday. Time to age into a teen. Go ahead and play hopscotch since that's what you want to do. It's Clint's birthday. The kids should be doing their The other kids should be doing their homework. I can't believe this kid is not on honor roll yet. Get on honor roll. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. 
I know they're aging up, but look at all these kids here doing their homework. <laughs> this is like the homework circle. We love to see it. Everyone is doing their homework, right? What are you doing? Okay, wait. Why are you having your birthday? Oh, you're Clint, okay. I was like, what's happening? Okay, let's see what trait Clint gets. He is a loner, insane, friendly, and a schmoozer. That's interesting, him and being alone. I'm gonna change that, because loner and schmoozer don't really go together. Ooh, okay, absent-minded, that's fine. That's fine, and now for the last one, Bucky. Where is Bucky at on my little panel? Yes, Bucky is on honor roll, so he is going to age up. Oh, I forgot to say, so Jarvis's traits are absent-minded, virtuoso, genius, and mooch. The kids are working on their homework, which is great. You need to work on your homework so you can get on honor roll. No one's going to university. Thank you. Okay, he's doing his homework already. All right, because of his success in school, you can choose a trait for Bucky. All right, Bucky, you are a genius, ambitious, hydrophobic, and a vehicle enthusiast. Yay, that means you'll love getting to learn how to drive. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh my goodness, our family tree is insane, but what's 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 new? What's new? All right, um, now we're getting all these notifications from the kids doing their homework. Oh, look at them sitting outside, how cute. Are they the twins? They are the twins. You guys are twins, Carol and Stan. Yeah, you guys are definitely twins. All right, we're gonna sell that. That's great. Now these kids need to get level three with three different skills. You are on logic level one i think we have a logic book she might have it the girl twin no not you oh my goodness how am i gonna find things now okay maybe he has it okay so logic go ahead and start working on that you have already okay we're gonna sell this and you have fishing level one i don't think there's a fishing book is there no but you can learn cooking so you'll learn cooking and then you will learn charisma you guys get on it get on it because these are old homeworks so you won't have any homework to do right now go ahead and learn cooking volume one okay so the kids are basically just gonna go ahead and learn some skills we're gonna get those skills to level three we're gonna do it no ifs ands or buts they're gonna get on honor roll and we're gonna get them out of the house okay okay I think we're gonna get some more sims out of the house before we try for baby again because this is just, it's just getting a lot. It's getting a lot. <laughs> this is just the beginning as well. So I will bring this part here to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Give it up for new birthdays, new young adults, Tony moving out, and us continuing this challenge. If you guys enjoy my content and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one.